Hey guys, next up, the badging. I've been wanting to do this uh, ever since I've had the car. Actually, when I was looking to purchase this vehicle, um, I uh, I was hoping I'd find one with, with black badging. This one happened to come with chrome badging, which really looks nice, but I, uh, I like the look of the uh, matte black badging, um, similar to what they have in the GT model cars. Uh, better. So um, I finally found somebody uh, through one of the Facebook groups that was selling a completely unused uh, set of black badges for for this vehicle. Uh, he had purchased uh, the badges, but then he sold the vehicle before he had a chance to do it. So, um, you know, I was able to take advantage of that. I got a, a really nice deal on, on the badging, uh, OEM, of course. And um, the the trick here is that this car has well this car has full PPF all the way around um, so I have to be really careful about how I remove these letters because um, there is paint protection film underneath these letters and I want to make sure that I uh, I don't damage the paint protection film and so I'm going to show you now what I plan to use. <laughs> that was uh, unexpected, but basically the uh, my little tripod didn't hold well. So I'm going to show you now what I'm going to use to remove the badging. So here's what I've got. Uh, I've got the, the badges, which you could see there. Those are uh, OEM, made for Porsche. And uh, I've got a little bit of uh, Goo Gone here to help with the removal of uh, the remaining adhesive. I've got the uh, dental floss, which I will be using to um, help remove the letters. I've got some masking tape here, which I'm just going to use to um, just tape up a little bit of a paper towel to catch any drippings. And I've got the hair dryer here, which I'm going to use to, um, I'm, you know, some people would use it to, um, to warm up the adhesives to help in pulling the letters off. Um, I'm not exactly sure I'm gonna use it for that because we have to be a little bit more careful with the paint protection film. Uh, what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna get the paint protection film hot and then start pulling on it because that could deform it and you know cause it to, um, well, we, you know, we don't, we don't wanna mess that up. So um, my intention is to try to use the, uh, the dental floss and I made, may even um, soak it in a little bit of Goo Gone. I'll pour some Goo Gone in here, soak the dental floss in that and use that to kind of um, floss the letters off the, uh, off the rear deck. And, uh, and that's it. So we're gonna see how that goes. One last look here before I go ahead and get started on this job. Say goodbye to the beautiful chrome lettering. All right, so I've got this little piece of floss here that I had soaking in some Goo Gone, and I'm gonna start out with the, uh, with the letters here on the bottom of the word, uh, Portia. I'm gonna gently, uh, let's see this. We're about to find out how difficult this really is. So, unfortunately, the Goo Gone is making it slip right off my fingers. And so, let's see, let's try that. Nope, that's not working. So, I'm going to try a piece that doesn't have Goo Gone on it and see if that helps a little bit. Might have to uh, figure out a way. No. All right, not as easy as I thought. Let me uh, reassess and come back. All right, so I took a longer piece of floss, tied a couple of loops on the end so that I had a way to keep a strong grip on it. And this seems to be working now. And you can see, I've already begun working the nine off, and there it goes. I'm gonna save that right there. 
and move on to the next letter or number and just takes you want to be a little you don't want to go too rough because you don't want to accidentally tug too hard on the paint protection film that's the part you want to be careful about if this was just regular paint i wouldn't be as concerned but now the numbers are coming off nice and easy so i'm going to let you see this get done because i know that somebody like me would have really liked to have seen there we go oh cutting off circulation there there we go nice and easy nice and easy all right the carrera is off and last but not least Take that S off, just like we're flossing our teeth. Nice. Oh, might have to cut another piece. All right, let me uh, take a pause there for a minute, but you see how this is working. And then I'll show you how I get the residue off as well. All right, so just to keep it in real time, we're gonna go ahead and finish removing the letters here. Oh, this S doesn't wanna come off too easy. So let's see if I can just pry it off. Yeah, look at that. Took the adhesive right off. Um, all right, this next part I'm probably just gonna do in time lapse, uh, since now you've seen how that goes, and then we'll come back and we'll we'll deal with the adhesive residue that you can see most of it just peels right off actually, um, and. Uh, can see that it's already mostly off. There is kind of like this impression there, which um, I know I can get it off and we will. All right, now that I've got all the letters off, uh, there's a little bit of adhesive left and uh, you know, I peeled off all the main part, but there's still a little bit of sticky stuff. So I'm gonna use some of this Goo Gone and, uh, and see if that helps. Goo Gone is pretty safe. Um, it's a petroleum-based product with citrus and it's really good at getting stuff off without, uh, looks like it's working well. I'm gonna have to probably come at it with a little bit of quick detailer spray afterwards but it's certainly helping right now get the uh the bulk of the adhesive off really nicely actually didn't need very much let's see still see a little bit of what they call ghosting of the letters i'm gonna just Keep wiping it and maybe use a little quick detail spray but you almost can't see it already uh, almost all gone but I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch as I you know, use my uh, real perfectionist attention to detail to try to get every last bit of adhesive off. But, but here you have it. Um, the letters are off. They came off pretty easy. Now, um, my plan for putting the new letters on, um, I think I'm in for a, a little bit of a, a treat and I'm hoping that I can share that with you. So for now, I'm going to uh, go ahead and finish this up and Get back to you guys in a little bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we had a little bit of a change of plans. 
slight delay and I decided to go a little bit of a different direction with the rebadging. And what I decided to do was to put it out there on the internet, put up a couple of polls and see what people thought about um, how I should replace the badge. Should I go with the original setup with all the text or maybe some new variation? And so I'm delighted to say that I was able to come to a good conclusion, one that I agreed on, uh, in which I'm happy that that was an agreeable point with the poll results. And even better, I was able to bring my car to the local Porsche dealership and they applied the lettering back on at no charge. Presumably, I would say they probably did this because it helps protect the brand identity by making sure that people aren't doing a sloppy job putting on their le uh, the lettering for Porsche. So you can imagine if, if people were driving around with their letters all janky, um, that probably wouldn't look good for the brand. So I'm about to reveal to you what I decided to go with, and I hope you like it. First step, wipe the bumper clean. And he looks like he's uh, sprayed some sort of a solvent just to make sure it's super clean. All right, so he's got the template there. But, oh, he's putting the wing up. This is interesting. I am sure that I would not have been able to do it with this level of precision. Now he's got the letters. kind of hard to see but he's putting each one of those letters into a very specifically cut out stencil so there is no chance of error in placement look at that and now the reveal wow hard to tell from uh, the camera but I can tell you it definitely looks really nice all right very nice. Well, there you have it, folks. Now that you know, here's another look at it up close. I hope you like it. I certainly do. In fact, I think I'm going to hang on to the other letters, though, just in case. Um, I may decide to just put the, the Model 911 on underneath this, but personally, I think this looks great just the way it is. I don't think I'm going to end up changing it. And uh, I'm really happy with the result and I'm glad that I was able to get the dealership to put the letters on for me. Um, that was a really nice added bonus for me to get this done. And uh, that's it. So I hope you really liked this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, this little journey of the debadging and rebadging uh, as much as I enjoyed it. And if you like this video, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think. Any questions, comments, um, I'd love to hear it from you. So that's it, everyone. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.